Welcome back everybody. Laura here. So we're gonna knock Sunken Scoop out. And as the name implies, there is a Sunken Scoop. So go ahead and scoop up a uh, orb here. And what we're gonna do is get it up above the cage. And I like to pull in, push out kind of thing. So if you go back and forth real fast with the scoop, it will lodge the orb free and will fall down. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up one more orb just because we're gonna to need to do the same thing on the other side here in just a moment, as soon as I can get right. Alrighty. So you don't really have to, there's orbs on the other side as well. I just like to do it this way because uh, they make it kind of difficult for view purposes to see what you're doing with this thing, especially on this side of the room, so. Uh, same way, folks. Out and in. Should lodge the ball free. And uh, what we're going to do now is just kind of put the thing right over about where middle is. Let go of it. There's a great big button down there to depress. And voila, water level shall sink. Alright, so on the other side of the room... You might have wondered, well, did the water on the other side go down too? Yes, it did. Uh, in fact, there's a treasure chest in there. Uh, it is a really crappy weapon. It's a two-handed Zora longsword of some sort, silver longsword. Uh, so anyway, if you want it, feel free, go grab it. For you picture takers out there, you might want to snap a photo of it. Other than that, I am out of here. All right, folks, we'll see you guys back for the next shrine. Happy hunting!